Okay, class, today you are painting with temper paint. So we're going to do a quick demonstration to show you what you need and how to use it. Okay, for temper painting, you will need a paper towel, a brush, your paint mat, something to paint, your paint, and a water jug. The first thing we're going to talk about is how to use and take care of our temper paint cups. So these are our temper paint cups. They're on this nice little styrofoam tray and they're all labeled by color. What I do not want to ever see you do is take one of these, flip it upside down, throw it. No matter how perfectly you can land it, do not throw it. It gets all the paint stuck up here on the lid. No, no, no. Okay, so when I'm ready to take the lids off, I'll just peel them off and I'll come and put them over here. You see all that paint that's in that lid from me flipping it? Do not stick this on top because then it'll get stuck to the lid. So the lids should all go over here. Okay, all my lids are off now and I'm ready to paint. So I will take my brush that is dry and I can stick it in the paint. These are not watercolors, so you do not want any water on your brush. They're already wet. When I put paint on my brush, I stop at the tip of Bob's hair. I do not get paint all the way down his body. So just the tip, and then I'm free to paint away. I don't really know what I'm painting, but I'm painting nice. Same as when we watercolor. You don't want to scrub your brush. That's not nice to the brush hairs, and your brush strokes don't look nice that way either. When I want to switch colors, it's very important that I wash my brush and dry it. So I'm going to put my brush in here. And I'm going to tap on the bottom of the water jug to get all the paint out. I'll let the water, extra water drip off, and then I have to use my paper towel. And I really want to dry my brush off really well. Okay. So once my brush is really dry, then I can go ahead and switch colors. If I do not do this, my colors will get all gross and yucky. Now I can come back here and paint. Now, if I want to mix my colors together while I'm painting, I can do that. If I mix pink with red, I'll get kind of a pink red, okay? If we're doing a project where there's a lot of color mixing, I will give you all a separate tray to mix on. If you do not get a separate tray to mix on, that means you have to do it on the paper like this. So when I'm done painting, I will put my brush in the water and that's where it stays. Uh, my paper towel gets thrown away, and my paper is going to come and go on the drying rack. Yay, look at us walk to the drying rack. Oh, so nicely. When I get to the drying rack, I need to slide it on from the corner. I'm good to go. This is not recyclable. It has to go in the actual trash can. And then my paint mat. I need to come and take it back where it belongs, right here by the sink. Ooh, ah. Nice and neat. And then I'm gonna need to put my water jug in the sink. You guys all know where that goes, so I'm not gonna show you. And the very last thing I need to do is put all the lids back on the paints. So I need to match up the correct lid with the right color, and they should snap down. Okay, all my lids are on now so I can pick up my tray. And we're gonna walk it back to the back counter. And they'll all get stacked up back here. And that was painting 101. You are ready to go. Now you are all prepared to use the temper paint. Now, if you are marking on anything with the paint that is not your paper, like your neighbor, the table, somebody else's paper, there's no warning. You lose your paintbrush and you don't get to paint anymore for the day.